Hi, thanks for stopping by. Well, I would assume that you have an interest in learning how to play the blues guitar, or you wouldn't click. Well, I have a series of three videos that are designed to take you from where you're at currently to being a fairly functional blues guitarist, or at least have a good understanding of how blues concepts are uh, used. The first uh, thing I'd like to do is just say, uh, I would expect that you would have at least some familiarity with the instrument um, and maybe have uh, some bar chords that you've learned, uh, maybe have, uh, you know, goofed around with some single note concepts, some lead concepts, um, but you don't have to, it's, your system requirements here are not, are not huge. So the first video called the foundation of the blues is just as it implies. It's the very beginning of how blues music is structured. And uh, we call, uh, I'm going to teach you the 12 bar blues progression. The 12 bar blues progression is where just about every blues song you've ever heard is based on. You learn that, you learn just about every blues song that there, that there is. Because it's a progressive type of music. In the first lesson as well, uh, there's an, another component called the minor pentatonic scale, which is, uh, it sounds intimidating, but it's not. It's simple. It's just some single notes in a position that I'm going to teach you that is basically where every lick you've ever heard from Joe Bonamassa to B.B. King to Eric Clapton to Stevie Ray Vaughan have extracted their their licks from. So the minor pentatonic scale again is a foundational uh, component, the foundation of the blues. The second video it's called Four Essential Blues Licks for the Beginner. Now these blues licks are foundational in structure just like the first video they're easy to learn and they will give you a another tool in your toolbox to actually be a functioning uh, lead guitar lead blues guitar guy okay now it's gonna take some practice but I think that you'll be able to do it because these licks are not that hard coming to the third video you can play the blues and um, and you can at this point in at this level after taking the first two lessons um, we're going to sit down with a couple of backing tracks that I've recorded at here at, in the studio uh, that will help you gain a better understanding of where those licks should be placed and uh, in other words practical application of the concepts that you learned in the first and second video uh, so the, the series of videos are self-supporting and they go full circle. Um, it's a foundational system. So anyway, that being said, uh, stick around. We're going to get on to the first lesson, the foundation of the blues, right after this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hi, welcome back to the foundation of the blues. Um, we're going to move along uh, somewhat quickly here. So if you run into um, any roadblocks as we're moving along, uh, simply uh, hit pause and uh, then, you know, go back and start back up again if need be. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that we're going to do this in the key of G. If you're not familiar with that term, which is found in the third on the third fret, sixth string. So you have E, F, G. Okay. Uh, the first chord that we're going to be using in uh, the process of teaching uh, the twelve-bar blues progression is going to be G7 and 
it's uh, it's right here and this is what it sounds like <laughs> Okay, get yours sounding just like that. If you need to pause, do it and practice it. The next chord is the C7. And instead of it starting on the G, which is, it starts on the C. A, B, C. Okay. C is found on the fifth string on the third fret and it's played and should sound like this okay you got that one if you need to pause same story the next chord the third chord and last chord that you'll need in this 12 bar blues progression is D7 and that will be found on the fifth fret we have C right is on the third A B C D is on the fifth fret so that sounds like this Okay. And those are essentially the chords that we're going to be using in this lesson. So those chords you need to learn. So learn them. If you need to pause this video now and come back to it later, do so. Here's the 12-bar blues progression. Okay, And the 12-bar blues progression is it's right here. So what you, what you have, you have line 1, line 2, and line 3. Okay, so those those lines right there are um, essentially made up of uh, f four measures each line or four bars each line. Okay, so you take four, four and four, four times three equals twelve. So there's your twelve bar blues. That's your twelve bars of music. So that's essentially the building block of every blues song you've ever heard, okay? So this is um, interesting, right? I hope so. I hope it's interesting. So we have, um, we have uh, in each one of those, you see these, the, the lines, right? Uh, the the kind of like uh, front slash or back slashes. And then there's a 4-4. Four, four. That means that there are four beats per bar, per measure. Four beats per measure. Okay? And I have annotated in there as well the chords. The C7, or rather the G7, C7, and D7. And you can see what order and how many beats each one of those chords get. All right? So if we were to count that, right, I'm going to play it for you. If we were to count that out, we're going to count it, and you're going to see how the 12-bar blues progression actually, um, how it actually works. Okay, so let's start it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's your 12-bar blues. And then that just repeats and continues to repeat. 
and that's where all of the leads are played over the top of that all of the vocals and the, the lyrics are, are sung over the top of that and that's essentially the blues so in this lesson uh, you learned um, so far uh, how to play the chords you learned the 12 bar blues progression okay those two elements in, in themselves is a great leap forward uh, hopefully from where you were at but you practice those and you'll find out that a whole new world is going to open up for you now I promise the next part of this lesson is going to cover some lead stuff okay so I want to teach you now the minor pentatonic scale now the minor pentatonic scale is where all of the lead work that you hear from Stevie Ray Vaughan and Joe Bonamassa and uh, you know Eric Clapton and all the greats this is where all of their licks are manifested from okay they they work them all out from the minor pentatonic scale and I'm going to show you the first position of the minor pentatonic scale and you need to practice this and get it down so it's second nature and you become a matter pi, uh, minor pentatonic scale ninja right so let's uh, let's take it from there here's the minor pentatonic scale and I also have it uh, annotated right up here for you so uh, use these reference materials pause if you need to and practice okay all right here we go here's the minor pentatonic Oops, I guess I should turn up my guitar. Huh? Okay. So, yep, I'm human. I get phone calls too. All right, you ready? So here it is going down. Now I would suggest starting with a downstroke and alternate Alter, alternating your pick so that you start developing good habits, okay? And that's the best way to do this exercise is don't worry about speed, that'll come. So practice that up and down as many times as needed till you feel comfortable with it. And that's basically lesson number one. So in the next lesson, we're going to learn some licks that are based off of the minor pentatonic scale. Um, you're going to be amazed by how quickly you're going to move from zero to 60 once you have that minor pentatonic scale down. It's a simple scale. I would say within a matter of a day or so you should have that down pretty good grab your guitar uh, when you're sitting watching TV and go through that up and down and pretty soon your mind your hands uh, your fingers are you, you know it's just gonna come naturally to you so make sure you practice and go on to uh, lesson number two when you feel comfortable.